Lita sketchbook is my favorite uh, sketchbook that I've been uh, working in for ever since the person who started the company gave me a, a copy. And I've been, um, I really like the, the softness of the pa paper, the color of the paper, the flexible uh, nature of the sketchbook itself. Um, I do a lot of drawing and a lot of transfers and ink washes and um, it's very durable and um, I like the size too. The size is, it's, it's, um, it's the perfect size for, it's not too small but it's not too large either. And um, I don't know, it's, it's great. It takes color well, it takes ink beautifully, transfers, um, pencil collage. It's great. So it's just a good all-around um, vehicle for ideas. I really like, I used to like moleskin, but I never, I, I always thought they were too expensive for what they were. And um, the problem with moleskin for me is the pages were too thick, too, um, they, they weren't flexible enough and they weren't soft enough. It was, um, yeah, just too rigid. I didn't, I didn't like them. Uh, I've used other sketchbooks, Strathmore, which is not too bad. Um, but once again, the, 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 the paper is always an issue with a lot of sketchbooks. They're either too absorbent or in the case of Moleskine, they're too, they're too uh, unabsorbent, if that's a word, non-absorbent. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I teach a lot and, and uh, I'm noticing more and more everybody has them when they come to class and uh, and so um, for the same reasons they like they like the size they like the flexible nature the cool thing is you can stick them in um, in your backpack you can stick them in your pocket they make a really beautiful small sketchbook too pocket size and I noticed uh, uh, recently I saw a, a guy who was a naturalist and um, and I noticed he was way up in the middle of the mountains and he was doing the beautiful little drawings in that sketchbook. So it's, it's you know, they're durable, you know, so they'd be perfect for a scientist as well as an artist. Uh, all my sketches, all my landscapes, uh, which I've been working on, uh, my father passed away recently and, um, and so I filled up uh, one of my Lita sketchbooks with a lot of pen and ink drawings, really loose uh, drawings of how I remember Harlan where I grew up. And, um, but uh, all those were done uh, from um, memory. I'm like, there's an artist uh, that I love, a uh, Hudson River School artist, George Ennis, that he also did all of his landscapes from memory, and they're beautiful. It's, it's interesting, uh, if you, you can close your eyes and you can actually see a landscape, if it's, if it's meaningful to you. So, you know, if you have, and I think that's photographic too. I think it's, I have a pretty photographic memory and I think that's, that has helped uh, with my landscape or my, you know, drawing from memory, definitely. I always sketch out my ideas uh, and they're crude. Um, if you look at my ideas for sculptures, oftentimes they're very rudimentary. I just want to get the idea down and by, by marking something down, I lay claim to it. Oftentimes you have a great idea and if you don't go to your sketchbook and write it down, chances are that's going to be gone. You're going to forget what it was. And it's really important to, to remember to, to sketch and to draw. There's also, it helps sharpen your, your observation skills. And, and just as an art form, you know, it's, they're beautiful. People have wanted to buy my sketchbooks but I've never been able to, to part with them because they're kind of, they're more precious. In fact, I think, sometimes I think, you know, if I had to give, get rid of all my artwork, you know, the only thing I would keep would be my sketchbooks. Because those are the ones that are, those are the things that are the purest. A sketchbook is something that is private and, you know, you can do whatever you want in there. You can say whatever you want. And if you don't want it to show, if you don't want to show it to anybody, you don't have to. And it's so it's it's a really great way to kind of develop your your vision. And every artist should draw too. I know that's that really rubs people the wrong way sometimes, and people get really antsy about 
drawing. You know, it's like, oh, I don't draw, I don't draw. And I always say, everybody draws. You, you sign your name, that's drawing. You know, you write the alphabet, that's drawing. You know, maybe you don't render, you know, maybe you don't make something look like something. But that's, that's besides the point. I think it's really important to crystallize ideas and you do that through drawing.